Okay, so the next thing we're going to do when we multiply is called the lattice method. And I know you guys did this with addition, and it's pretty similar, and I think you'll be okay. So we're going to do 23 times 12. All right, and you remember with the lattice method, we end up drawing a little chart, and I'm going to show you how we do it. I start with just making a square. And you know how big you want to make your boxes by how many numbers you're multiplying by. You know that you're going to have two rows and two columns because both of your numbers are two digits. So we're going to have, there we go, two rows and two columns. Okay, so right here, 23 and 12. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add my lines, my little diagonal lines. I carry mine all the way out so that I have a nice neat place to put my answer. Some people don't like the way that looks and that's okay. You don't have to carry your lines all the way out here. So then I'm going to go in and just start multiplying and fill in the answers. And then we're going to use some colors to make it a little more clear, okay? So I'm going to start over here with our two and we do two times one, which is two. So we put a zero in the first box and a 2 here because it's just 2, okay? 3 times 1 is 3, so we put a 0 here and a 3 here, good. Then we have 2 times 2, which is 4, so we get a 0 here and a 4 here, okay? And 3 times 2, which is 6, so we get a 0 here and a 6 here. Awesome. So when I go to try and figure out my answer, I'm going to just take a highlighter and then I'm going to add, you add along the diagonally. So I'm just going to add this way. So we have 6 plus nothing, which is 6. And I just write it underneath. Okay. Then we're going to have on this diagonal 3 plus 4. So 3 plus 0 plus 4, which is going to be 7. Okay, so 7. There it is. And then 0 plus 2 plus 0 is 2. Okay. And then we have 0 all by itself. So our answer is going to be 276. Okie dokie. So we're going to do one more that's much bigger and has some carrying. And I think that you will like it. Okay, so this one that we're going to do is 312 times 45. We're going to make our box bigger this time because we're going to have some extra columns. So you can see this is for our 312 and our 45. All right, so then I'm going to make my diagonals. Awesome. So let's just go ahead and start with the multiplying. So we're going to have 3 times 4, which is going to be 12. So our 1 goes here and our 2 goes here. There it is. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay. 1 times 4 is 4. Okay. 2 times 4 is 8. Good. So we move down. 3 times 5 is 15, 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10. So we are going to go ahead and just like before, I'm going to highlight so that I know what I'm adding up. So let's see, there's only 0 here, so that means it's a 0. What do we have in the next diagonal? Oh, 8. Plus 1 is 9, plus 5 is 14. 
So that's a little cr crazy because you remember last time we just had our answer written along the outside of the box. Well, that's not what we do here. Here, we put our 14 down, but we only have the 4. And we're going to carry that 10. We're going to carry it up here. Okay? Don't get lost. All right, so now we have 1 here because we carried it from our 14. So 1 plus 4 is 5. Okay? Plus 0 is still 5. Plus 5 is 10. So what do we have to do again? Again, we have to carry. So we're going to have our 0 here. We're going to carry the 10 up here. Okay? Let me get another highlighter. Let's try this blue color. And we're going to highlight. So we have 1. Okay? I'll try not to highlight over it. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Good. And then our last diagonal is just 1 all by itself. So our answer is going to be 1, 4, 0, Four, zero. Okay, so we have, looks like 14,040 is our answer to 312 times 45. We're going to do just one more. It's a little bit bigger. It's still not very hard. And uh, yeah. Okay, so the next one that we are going to do is 523 times... 214. We're going to make our lattice much bigger this time because we're going to have three rows and three columns. Okay? So big this way and big this way. Good. So we can split it like this. So this is going to be our 5, 23, and then we can go like this and like this, and this is going to be our 2, 14. Make my diagonals. Okay, so I know that you're looking at this and going, that's huge, there's no way that that's even doable. There is, it's awesome, I love lattice because for this reason, your multiplication is just so little, very little, okay? So five times two, there's our five and there's our two, is 10. Put our one here and our zero here, okay? Two times two is four, put our zero here and our four here. Three times two is six, Okay, 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 1 is 3, okay, 5 times 4 is 20, 2 times 4 is 8, and then 3 times 4 is 12. Awesome. So we filled in that pretty quickly. Let me grab my highlighter, and we're going to start adding on the diagonal again just like before start in your bottom corner so we have two all by itself that's a two fabulous next we're gonna have three plus one is four plus eight is twelve so what we do is I put my two here okay but if I put my 12 here, it would be totally confusing. So what we're going to do is carry that 1. And we carry the 1, which is actually a 10, we carry it up here and add it to our 6. So that's actually 7 in this box right now, okay? So right now we have, when we go to our next diagonal, 6 plus 1 is 7. I can highlight that. Plus 0 is still 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 0 is still 9, plus 0 is still 9. Okay, so there's our 9. When we add down, then we move on again. So 0 plus 4 is 0, plus 0 is, oh, it's 4. I 0 plus 4 is 4. So 
we have 0 plus 4 plus 0, which is 4, plus 5, and plus 2. So this is actually 11. So we're going to bring our 1 here. And what do we do with our 10? We're going to carry it because we just can't put it there. It won't make sense. The whole problem will mess up. So we put the 1 here and carry the 10. Okay. I need a new color. Oh, no. Here we go. So we have 1 here. Okay. Plus 0 is 1. Plus 0 is 1. So in this row, we just end up with 1. And then our very last one is just a 1 all by itself. So you end up with 1, 1, 1, 9, 2, So it looks like you have 111,922 is your answer to 523 times 214. I really hope this helps you guys out. I know that I love to do it this way. Good luck!